Tuesday Live tonight will discuss the role of traditional rulers in nation building, featuring the Oni of Ife, Eju Lupe, Emir of Zazo, Eze Iweka III, Emir of Lafia, Egbere Emere Okori of LMA Kingdom. Join us to listen to the wisdom of these custodians of our culture and heritage. We are privileged to be joined by some highly revered traditional rulers across the country. Uh, it's my pleasure to uh, begin to introduce them at this point. May I welcome uh, to this program His Royal Highness Al Haji Yahya Abu Bakr, CFR, the Etunupi, and uh, Chairman, Niger State Council of Traditional Rulers and Coordinating Chairman, National Traditional Rulers Council of Nigeria. He joins us from Bida, Niger State. Uh, Your Royal Highness Bagadoji, thank you for joining us on NTA Tuesday Live. Let me also welcome to this program the Oni of Ife, His Imperial Majesty, Oba Adeyeye Eniton Gumusi Ojaja II, he joins us from Ilefe. Also joining us tonight on the program, His Royal Highness, Justice Sidi Mohammed Bagi, Emir of Lafia and Chairman Council of Chiefs, Nasara State, is a retired Justice of the Supreme Court, he joins us from Lafia. We'll be privileged to also have with us His Royal Highness Malam Muhammad Nuhu Bamali, CFR, the Emir of Zazao and Chairman Kaduna State Council of Chiefs. He joins us from Zaria. Your Royal Highness, we welcome you to NTA Tuesday Live. Let me also introduce His Royal Highness King Apollos Chu, OFR. The Egbere Emere Okori and One E in Chair the Tenth of Eleme Kingdom in River State. He joins us from Port Harcourt. And uh, also, also uh, joining us tonight will be His Majesty Igwe Chibudem Iweka, Eze Iweka the Third, the traditional ruler of Ubusi. Let's begin by first uh, asking His Royal Highness the Etunupi. To put in perspective for us uh, the role of traditional institutions, their historical and cultural role in the past, and uh, how it has been along the time. Your Royal Highness. It's a serial compliment of the season, and uh, we are glad to have you with us this time around. And I will thank you immensely for organizing this uh, forum, um, which actually concerns our institution, that is the traditional institution. You might have known that, yes, this institution has been on even before the independence, many centuries back, even before 1914, for the amalgamation of uh, our constitution or Ni Nigeria. Um, the institution has been playing its role because we are the we know and they were the custodian of uh, customs and tradition. The institution um, we are going back to time immemorial. We should start from basic home where you have a father and mother and the children. So this is a sort of a natural administration. Um, um, growing up from family uh, unit, from the family unit to a uh, small um, cottage, from cottage to a village, from village to a town, and town to cities, and even to state and the nation. So it is like uh, a root. The traditional institution is rooted in our day-to-day -day life right from the time immemorial. So this institution has been very, very much um, owned even before the coming of the British uh, uh, adventurists who came to Nigeria 
to come and colonize the country. We have been administering our people through this system. You know, remember we have, even during that time when they came, we have what we call native authority, whereby the emirs, chiefs, obas, obis, they play a very, very fantastic uh, role in terms of administering the welfare, the security, and all endeavors of women eh, within their areas of jurisdiction. Emirs, obis, obas, chiefs, they are the leaders of the community. They lead their communities in the various um, uh, sectors of uh, women endeavors. So it's an, a long-standing uh, institution, administratively, well uh, with a good uh, network of uh, knowing who is who eh, in the community, know what anybody can do. And also, if you remember, we usually say that we are the closest authority to the people. You know, this uh, traditional institution. We are very much close to our people. We know what they eat. We know their way of behavior. We know how they dress. You will know their characteristics of human beings, how they live. And differ from one area to the other. Where you see an evil man, the way he behaves is different from what, uh, how someone is behaving. When you see a Yoruba man, the way he behaves is different from what uh, how uh, evil man is behaving. So these are what you call customs and tradition, culture. And every sort of uh, human um, uh, um, development or establishment, you have these peculiarities in cultures. The way we dress, the way we talk, the way we eat, and they will do our things, you know, ceremonies, what have you, what have you. So it's an institution, like a natural institution, describing people and their culture. Describing people's behavior, how they behave and uh, how they live. And they, it grows from there by uh, even understanding each other and capabilities of individuals are very much understood uh, within the community. So that is institution. And it's uh, a natural institution. As I said, it grows from a family unit between the father and mother and the children. When there you have, you know, uh, areas, quarters, cottages, and uh, villages. Yes, thank you.